Okay, so um, what we did already was you were to take a picture and place it into a pop art program. We used Photo View, F O T O V I E W, and then the Pop Art Studio version so that we did not have to download anything to our Chromebooks. Um, I took a picture of Michael Buble and um, placed it in the program and chose one of the pop art um, applications. And then after you converted your picture, you uploaded your image and converted it, then um, I, I asked you to email it to me and I printed it out. So our next step then would be to cut this picture out and then we're going to do some outlining. Now, how much you outline really depends on how detailed you want to get for your picture, so for your final. So I'm going to show you a couple of choices and you can pick anywhere in between these two options. So you can see the red lines here. I basically outlined the um, spaces for the head, for the hair, um, I'll come in and do the eyes as well. And then I outlined the neck, the necktie, the shirt, any of those major color changes. For, so for the eyes, I'd probably just come in and do this type. Maybe I'd even outline my eyebrows. And where I don't see it because it got too dark, I'd probably need to kind of fill it in where I think it would be. So that would be the outline. Um, I always like to add just a little bit for the nose as well, just so we have that. And then again, same thing for the mouth, just kind of outlining the generalized space of it does not need to be perfect. So that would be the simplest version possible. So if you're going uh, for a super simple version, this would be the way to go. If you like to play around with your different values of each of the colors that you choose to use, you can choose um, to outline around the edges of each of your major value changes. And in this particular um, pop art version, I have the black, I have the dark um, gray, I have the medium gray, the light gray, and then the lightest gray. And then of course I do have a few areas that are basically left white, um, but I'm just gonna let those blend into the dark gray because I've got quite a bit going on. Um, again, I'm not doing anything with our background. We're trying to keep this in, our, um, in a simple version, a simplified view. So we're gonna eliminate our background for this. So the next step will be to trace this onto your paper. So you will need to have a light table and I will demonstrate that in the next video.